Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're talking about the Assault Specialist Commando. The Assault Specialist Commando is the mirror class to Innovative Ordnance Mercenary, except this time you have a massive cannon, which is pretty cool. If you're looking for the Innovative Ordnance Guide, it will be linked in the description below. In terms of stats for your PvE, you're gonna to wanna to have 110% accuracy. For PvP, you want 105% accuracy. And then alacrity, you should get to like 7.2% alacrity. That'll compensate for all your lag issues. The aerial number is a little bit lower than that, but given the lag in this game, you might need a little bit more. And then just dump the rest into critical. In terms of the specializations that I run, this is the tree that I run at the moment. We'll walk through the tree and discuss your options here. For single target damage, like on bosses or on players, I run Incendiary Ignition. What it does is it automatically gives you free damage from your plasma cell on the target. It will tick and trigger your plasma cell on the target repeatedly. So it's essentially just free damage. If you have a lot of AOE, you can run this Eruptive Flames, which will essentially do free damage to other targets in the area. If you are leveling, you might want to take the Hyper, or hyper Cinders. What this will do is it'll automatically trigger your uh, Volatile Warhead, or whatever it's called, Hyper Assault Rounds here on Commando. Um, it's more useful for people who are leveling because you're not gonna have long fights. If you take this at a high level, it's gonna botch your heat. So just something to keep in mind. In the next tier, you only only have two options. I run the charge barrier for the free damage reduction. If you have a lot of AOE, you can run sticky grenade, but I haven't found a lot of uses for it personally. The next round, if you have a lot of AOE, again, you can take heavy shrapnel, which is gonna give you AOE on your assault plastic, which is nice. I personally take slow burn. It's gonna benefit from the benefit of supercharged gas. And it's essentially just more damage than the impact explosives. At least that's what I found given my testing. The next row, we really only have one option here because we are selfish DPS players. Just take diversion. This time when you pot diversion, you're gonna absorb two force and tech attacks and then give you like a 35% damage or defense bonus, which is pretty nice. Again, next here, we only really have one option here. Reflective shield is just the best. That's full stop. For PvP, I run Adrenal Surge. It's gonna make your Adrenaline Rush trigger up to 60% and heal you for twice as much, which is really nice. Um, but if you're playing PvE, you're gonna to wanna to take Force March. Force March, that means that you can use your full auto on the move. Again, just really nice for PvE, getting out of those mechanics. Personally, I run Echoing Deterrence more than I run um, Hold the Line here. You can take Cryo Grenade if you really want to. This one's kind of dealer's choice. Um, this is just what I run personally. And then finally, the last one, I take Trauma Stabilizers just because I find a benefit from it the most. Especially as a PvP player, it's the most beneficial to me, and the other two really aren't that useful. So the only real option or choices here is going to be what do you want in the uh, Cryo Grenade, Hold the Line, and Echoing Deterrence stage, and then what type of content you're running for your 23 stage. Let's talk about doing damage. This is the fun part of playing a DPS because, well, doing damage is fun. The primary benefit of playing a DPS, or especially a Assault Specialist, is gonna be this little stack here of Supercharged Cell. Supercharged Cell looks like a little cell thing that's glowing, and it's currently glowing in our hotbar, which means that we have 10 stacks of Supercharge. We build Supercharge a couple of ways. The first is by using Hammer Shot. Hammer Shot will build a stack of Supercharge. Uh, Med Shot will build a stack of Supercharge. And then using our Charge Bolts, or our Medical Probe will build a stack of Supercharge. Once you have built a stack of, or 10 stacks of Supercharge, you're gonna see that Supercharge cell will start to glow. And what this means is that you will deal 10% extra damage with your dots for 16 seconds. Additionally, because of the legendaries that we are taking, uh, the Random Charge package is gonna give you 10% um, chance, 10% uh, chance, chance to build a stack of Supercharge just by using any of your abilities. And then Concentrated Fire is gonna give us free crits whenever you use our Supercharge, which is really nice. And then finally, because of the energized charges tactic that we're using, that means we're going to be uh, doing a lot of extra damage when we use our supercharged gas. So the goal of Assault Specialist is to build 10 stacks of supercharge as fast as possible while keeping up our dots and then following through the rest of our rotation. So let's talk about that. The rotation for Assault Specialist Commando is breaking down into three sections. The first is going to be our fuff and then our bonk, and then, I'm sorry, I messed that up. Our first section is gonna be our dots, then our fuff, then our bonk. So, the first section here of the rotation is gonna be our dots. We have two dots as part of Assault Specialist. The first is going to be Incendiary Round. Incendiary Round is an instant cast ability, and it just does a damage over time ability to the target, which is really nice. The follow-up ability is going to be Serrated Bolt. This is our second one. It is a casted ability. Now, the benefit of this is that we're gonna be using it in this order, Incendiary Round into Serrated Bolt, anytime we're in the middle of the rotation. 
This is because the instant cast would go off immediately, which means we will lose our cells, but then the cells would regenerate quickly over time, fast enough so that way when we use our serrated bolt, we won't really lose a lot of our cells when we're in the middle of our rotation. So anytime you're applying dots to the target, make sure you're going incendiary round into serrated bolt. Now we enter the fluff. Fluff stands for filler unload filler, except in this case, it's not really filler unload filler, it's more fall auto or filler fall auto filler. So fuff, 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 but fluff is more of a fun. So this stands for filler full auto filler. Our filler abilities for the most part are very, very simple. The first filler ability is gonna be our hammer shot. Hammer shot costs no energy, doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does build a stack of supercharge, which is really nice. Our second filler ability is going to be our Electronet. There is one more filler ability that we'll talk about during burn. Electronet takes priority over hammer shots, but it does have a minute, 30 second cooldown. So once you use it, you don't really have to worry about it for a long while. So what this is gonna look like is that when we're in the rotation, we're gonna go dot, dot, into our first filler, which is gonna be Electronet, and then our full auto, let it cast for its full three seconds, and then our filler. That's it. By using this basic rotation, we're building lots of stacks of supercharge passively for one, because of our tactical or because of the legend that we're using. And for two, because most of the time during our rotation, we're gonna go dot, dot, hammer shot, full auto, and then back into a hammer shot. Which means over the course of our filler, full auto filler, we will have built at least two, if not three, because of our procs stacks of supercharge, which is really nice. So first section, dot, dot. Second section, filler, full auto, wait for it to finish, filler. Now we come to the fun part of the rotation, which is the bonk part of the rotation. We call it bonk because it does a boatload of damage very, very quickly. Here's how it looks. First, we're gonna click on our assault plastique, and then our mag bolt, then our charge bolts, then our mag bolt. This works for a couple of reasons. First, by using Assault Plastique and then detonating it with Magbolt, we will apply a dot to the target because of our Assault Plastique, plus the extra boop, 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 slow burn that we take means that the dot is actually gonna last a little bit longer and do 25% more damage, especially when we have Supercharge on the target to be doing a boatload of damage there. Additionally, when you attack the target with Magbolt, or with, I'm sorry, if you detonate Assault Plastique with Magbolt, it will actually not count down anymore and will detonate Assault Plastique on the spot, which is very nice. Now we have to talk about a second little fundamental part of I or of Assault Specialist here, which is the fact that the cooldown of Magbolt will be reset by Charge Bolts and Full Auto, which is why we can do something like Assault Plastique, Mag bolt. Mag bolt will give you an instant cast of charge bolts, and then we can go back and cast mag bolt right away. That's the basic, basic fundamental rotation here. Um, it does a boatload of damage and gives IO a little bit of burst. So one last time, in case you weren't attention, paying attention to the last part of the rotation here, we go assault plastique, mag bolt, charge bolts. It should usually hit. I just don't have the accuracy for it right now, and then back into mag bolt. If you can follow this very basic rotation and then just practice it until your fingers bleed, you'll be doing just fine damage as Assault Specialist. Essentially, the fundamentals break down to smash a supercharged gas or supercharged cell whenever it's glowing, and then follow the basic rotation. Let's walk through it really quickly to make sure that we all know what we're doing here. So, first part of the rotation is gonna be dot, dot, filler. In this case, we have Electronet, so we can Electronet filler, full auto, Filler, and then bonk. Assault Plastique, Mag Bolt, Charge Bolts, Mag Nolt, back to the beginning. Dot, dot, filler, full auto. Boom, 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 boom. Filler, Assault Plastique, Mag Bolt, Charge Bolts, Mag Bolt. From the beginning, dot, dot, filler. Smash the glowing supercharge, full auto. Filler, Assault Plastique, Mag, Charge, Mag. Do this until your fingers bleed. This is the fundamental rotation for Assault Specialist. That's all you really need to know in terms of actually doing damage. Now, there is some dot spread in Assault Specialist here, um, but the only way to spread your dots is by using Plasma Grenade. Plasma Grenade does a moderate amount of damage, but not enough to justify it in single target. 
but if it hits the target and it will spread dots around. So it's okay if you have like a lot of targets in the area. The more fun way to do AOE is by using Mortar Volley, mostly because Mortar Volley looks cool. Look, I mean, that just, that's just a cool looking ability. There's no other good reason to say why you should use it. Just use it because it looks cool and it does a boatload of AOE damage, but it does consume a lot of our cells. So use it sparingly. It does have a 40 second cooldown. So see a lot of ass sand together, hit them with it. If anything else, it just kind of looks cool. That's the basic fundamentals of how to play Assault Specialist. The goal of getting down this rotation is to not have to think about what you're hitting anymore. You wanna be focusing on other aspects of the game when you're going through your rotation, like, hey, should I be popping my defensive cooldowns? Am I staying in AOE, etc.? So by practicing this rotation until your fingers bleed and you don't have to think about it anymore, that's gonna be the best way to avoid getting into trouble with your rotation. Then you can actually start focusing on like, hey, am I doing mechanics? Am I surviving? Am I paying attention to my environment around me? If you can get this rotation down so that way you're no longer thinking about it, you're gonna be in for a very good time. Speaking of defensives, let's talk about our defensives real quick. We have a fair bit of decent defensives here. We already mentioned one diversion which we got from our tree which will absorb two force and tech attacks and then give you a defense chance of 35%, which is very nice. Our most foundational defensive cooldown is gonna be our reactive shield. Reactive shield will give us a flat 25% DR for 12 seconds, and then every time we're attacked with shield on, we'll build a stack of trauma regulators, which will then heal us for 4% per stack. Do note if you die with uh, reactive shield on, it won't give you the healing. So if you need to click off your shield buff to give you those stacks of healing, you can if you need to, it's better than being dead. Additionally, we have our cultal, or I'm sorry, our adrenaline rush. Adrenaline Rush will heal you up to 60% at a very rapid rate, so it's essentially free healing to help out your healers. And finally, we have our Reflect in the form of Echoing Deterrence. I'm sorry, my mouse is floating everywhere. Echoing Deterrence will give you a Reflect, which will reflect 50% of damage back to attackers, and then heal you for 5% of your health every time that you're attacked. This is a good way to cheese mechanics and or provide yourself a good amount of defensives if you're being tunneled in PvP. That's really it when it comes to Assault Specialist. It's a very straightforward class. Um, if you need to pot defensives a lot, that's fine. Uh, we have a fair bit of them. Try not to stack your defensives on top of each other. If you stack all your defensives at once, like popping Reflect and Shield and Culto and Diversion at the same time, I'm gonna come into your house and I'm gonna hurt you. So please don't do that because I don't wanna go to jail. And that's really it. Let's talk about a quick opener here and then we'll talk about our um, I'm sorry, I didn't buy the thing yet. And then we'll talk about what uh, happens in burn. So our opener for Assault Specialist here is gonna be very, very simple. Because full auto resets the uh, mag bolt, what we can actually do is we can go, we're gonna start with serrated bolt first because that way we can apply both our dots at the same time. Because remember, serrated bolt has a cast and then incendiary rounds does not have a cast. So what we can do is something, oh, let me build our stacks of uh, 10 supercharge. Uh, recharge and reload will automatically build you 10 stacks over the course of the cast. So that's now built into our rotation for 7.0, which is pretty nice. So from the top, we're gonna go straight bolts and incendiary round, pop our supercharged gas cell, and then use mag bolt, full auto, and then electronet, and then back into our rotation. So assault plastic, mag bolt, charge bolts, mag bolt, dot, dot, filler, full auto, wait for full auto finished, filler, assault plastic, mag, charge bolts, mag bolt, ascendary round, serrated bolt. Now, once we reach the burn phase here, which is gonna be sub 30%, you're gonna start to notice that our explosive round is gonna start to glow. This means that Explosive Round will now do a fair bit more damage and cost less energy in return. Explosive Round will actually become our final filler ability here. So when we're going through our dot dot filler, full auto filler, it takes priority after Electronet. So from now on, if we have these rolling, let's see if we can get to proc real quick, boop, 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 boop. We can go Explosive Round, full auto, and then Hammer Shot for our final filler. And as you're gonna see, if this was a longer cast, uh, we just fill in explosive round as our finer filler, final filler ability in that little rotation there. That's all there really is to know for Assault Specialist. If you have any questions, leave them down in the description. I'm sorry, the comments below. Wow, I cannot talk today. Um, that's all I got.
enjoy your Assault Specialist Commando. I know it's not parsing well at the moment, but really don't worry about that. If it looks fun to you and it's fun to play, that's what's more important. Additionally, Bioware will balance the game eventually to make sure that people are more in line, so stick with it. I promise it's going to be fine. Have any questions? Comments? Otherwise, that's all I got. You guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you out there. Peace.